so my final offering today is another five and a half by eight um, junk journal called Nell. Um, this is fabric over cardstock, so it's fabric and um, canvas on both sides, it's cardstock in the middle. Um, there's Tim Holt's book plate on this one. Uh, it's tied with some pink sari silk. Um, the 68 sides back. I just like to open it out so you can see how it um, sits. Wrinkles a bit, obviously, when you open it out. Just a single signature. And inside this one, another eclectic mix of um, bits and bobs. Got a pocket with a tag made from um, an image from a gardening book. There's a vintage receipt and a vintage cigarette card. This is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. So it's a little double pocket there. I couldn't resist opening the doors on this one. Um, I haven't done anything fancy with closing them. So they're just so you get a peek through um, to this belly band. Um, and inside the belly band, there is a vintage ledger sheet. Pretty much blank. and a document from 1887. Lots of natural ageing on that one. <laughs> Those just fit in there. And on this side, um, I've edged here with some floral paper, um, a label, and then this is a piece from a calendar with vintage um, photographs uh, of London in the 19, well, I guess that's the 1920s. And I've done some um, modelling paste on there just to dress that up a little bit. That's the other side. This must be wartime, 40s. And I've got a little pocket here made from Tim Holt's um, film strip and a couple of vintage uh, flashcards. One's French, one's Latin. Some ripple. This is a stamped postcard. I saw Sharon do that um, recently and I thought that was a nice way to dress up a plainish postcard. And a Tim Holt's strip in there as well. She's peeping through. A um, little bit of collage here. In this pocket, there's um, a vintage illustration. That's for an old gardening book. And a tag backed onto uh, coffee uh, tea dyed paper. This is French ledger paper. Um, this is part of a birthday card. Um, sorry, this page opens out. I quite like doing this. So. Uh, lots of writing space, um, and this is both sides of that. So let's just pop that back over there like that. And then on this side, I'd also popped um, a photograph from the 1940s, and this is who I'm calling Nell. This is from the, the cover of a French mortgage document legal document. I think it was mortgage but I'm not 100% sure. A little tuck here with a library card and this is um, something I picked up. This is an old, I don't know if it's a calling card, it probably is a calling card. Um, again French. But I like the oranges picking up there. Um, this little tuck here, another picture of Nell. And this is a fold out. Um, so we've got the flower fairy on coffee dye, uh, tea dyed paper. I don't know why I'm saying coffee dyed. I never coffee dye. <laughs> um, some stenciling up here. This is from an old piano roll. 
in this pocket um, I've got a page from Good Housekeeping magazine from the 1920s, I think that is. And this is just a nice illustration from an old um, book, French book. And I've folded that so you get, I've folded it in the middle so um, hopefully it doesn't spoil the picture too much. This is from Sheet Music. I've got a bow up here and a dangle on this side. This is from my Vintage Flower Fairy book um, from the 1920s. Um, at the top here, there's a little fold-up pocket with a scrap of French um, document from 1807. So really old, that one. And a couple of um, cigarette cards in there. And then in this pocket, I have some vintage note paper. A vintage document, 1932. And a postcard from the 1920s, 25, I think that says, or possibly three. Or is this ruby and pearl? I can't remember. In here there's a um, document from 1955. That's quite thin, thin tissue paper. And this is a tag I put together. A little bit of um, embossing there, dry embossing. Then we've got Edith Holden. A little dangle down there. Little butterfly on that... Um, Vintage uh, fabric. This is fussy cutting. Another page from I think this is a French um, newspaper or magazine. And a journal card just made with a rose image. And this is the one with the roses in, not the last one more stenciling. This is a illustration from um, can't remember her name who does those beautiful children illustrations and this is the other side of the flower fairy book page. This is a fabric pocket with um, a dangle, some bits of christening gown, a little bit of lace uh, this is cut from a Tim Holtz um, film strip and this is a vintage um, names name label and in here there's a tag and just a little bundle of bits and pieces um, nothing terribly exciting um, from a building society it's a wine label a ticket uh, from a gardening book botanical book and this is a bit more of the entertainment guide that I used in the last um, journal and that's from 1948. It's easier to put those in together. A bit more lace. This is an envelope I've made from um, a little bit of piano roll, vintage piano roll, and this is an original cabinet card. Here we've got some ledger and a 1931 receipt. This is from a cigarette card album, a vintage pearl button on there, and in here a um, document from uh, hmm, 1887, and a tag on the um, vintage computer card, on the image on the vintage computer card. 
just a little wrap around from the Stamperia paper. In here there's um, a paper bag, a book page about Brussels lace, and a little vintage photograph. And there's a little bit more modelling paste on there. And then in the back here, um, this is a book page from a French magazine. An image from the diaries of uh, Maud Barclay. Postcard and a library card, and then that's the back. And that's Nell. Did I call her Nell? Probably. I'm a bit tired today. Sorry about that. So again, um, she'll be going into the Etsy shop. Thank you all for watching, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye bye.